Well, this is all very, very exciting. In less than one month, I shall be setting sail on Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas, my first Royal Caribbean cruise in quite some time after the hiatus of the uh, the pandemic. It will mean that I'll have done 17 cruises in the past decade, which is pretty good achievement, I think, uh, keeping, keeping up an average of more than one a year. I'd like to do more. There's a couple of factors. One is time and the other one is money. And uh, cruising isn't cheap, but it is fun. And I highly recommend it to everybody. And so what I want to do here is chronicle the countdown to my uh, next cruise on the Quantum of the Seas to talk a bit about cruising in general, some of the things I'm going to have to do to get ready for this particular cruise, and a little bit of reminiscing about some of the cruises that I have already taken. Um, and that's where I'm going to start. If you'll indulge me, my name's Brett, by the way. I've got some other cruising videos on this channel, plus a lot of videos about all sorts of different things. So please don't be discouraged if you're not interested in cruising, but if you are interested in cruising, subscribing would be would be quite nice. Uh, if you could do that, or like, or share, or comment. Hey, just listen to see if you like what I've got to say, and then decide about those things. So let's first address my cruising qualifications. I took my first major uh, sea cruise, ocean cruise, on the 6th of May, 2013. I was living in Abu Dhabi at the time uh, in the United Arab Emirates. I was earning good money when I flew to Europe to join a cruise from Barcelona to Dubai, the Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas. And um, it was 15 nights cruise. So it's a good thing that I had a good time because it's a long time to be on a ship if you're not going to enjoy it. And of course, I went to Egypt. I've been to Egypt before, but I... I had the experience of going sailing through the Suez Canal. Uh, I went to Petra. Petra uh, must be on your bucket list. It's the most fascinating place. And then around through, through the Gulf, uh, opposite uh, Somalia, where there was some pirate activity around that time. And so we had, um, we took men and equipment on board and we had to keep the lights down overnight. So there was a little bit of excitement around there and there were, talk of uh, of um, former British SAS uh, personnel uh, on the ship keeping us safe. We ended up in Dubai and um, just a stone's throw from Abu Dhabi. And so I thought, well, yeah, I quite like this. So it wasn't long. That was May. August 2013, I was back on deck on the Royal Caribbean Splendour of the Sea, uh, sailing the Greek islands and Turkey in... April the following year, 2014, I was on the Liberty of the Seas, another Royal Caribbean ship, on a five-night Western Caribbean trip, so out of Miami. And then I took a transatlantic journey on uh, Norwegian's, the Norwegian Epic, a Norwegian cruise line ship. That was 11 days across the Atlantic from Miami to Barcelona. Uh, in September 2014, the Norwegian star through the Baltic capitals from uh, Copenhagen, extraordinary trip. That one that sadly you can't do completely at the moment because um, St. Petersburg is no longer on the itinerary. Uh, I believe you can still go to Finland and Estonia. Uh, again, highly recommended experience. And the uh, January of 2015, I was on the Norwegian J. Now in 2015, Costa had a couple of ships sailing in the uh, the Arabian Gulf. So I was able to spend seven nights on the Costa Fasanosa uh, in April that year and in June 2015, seven nights on the Costa Mediterranean. Then in July, um, Norwegian Jade, um, uh, an Adriatic, seven days in the Adriatic. Um, in January 2016, the Norwegian Jade uh, again uh, in the Adriatic. Then in um, January 2016, the Costa Fortuna for a seven-night Arabian Gulf trip. March 2016, seven nights on the Costa Diadema. February 2017, the Royal Caribbean Vision of the Seas, seven nights in the Arabian Gulf. May 2017, 
I was on the Pacific Dawn, or was it the Aria? I, I'm a bit confused. It was one or the other. And in uh, January 2020, I was on the other P&O boat that wasn't that one. Uh, so there was a bit of a break between uh, 2017 and 2020. Then we had a couple of cruises um, planned, now that I was back living in Australia, uh, that had to be uh, reorganised. But in September 2022, um, I managed to get aboard the Pacific Encounter. And in November that year, I was on the Carnival Luminosa. So um, that's nearly a year ago. Um, and uh, now I'm, I'm at sea again uh, within weeks, and I, I'm delighted about it. Uh, so that's my resume, as it were, and that um, you'll join me uh, potentially more interesting uh, videos coming up when I tell you what I love about cruising now that I've established my credentials. Thank you so much. Um, please subscribe if you can. If you want to see some of my other videos, um, there's more upcoming on cruising. There's also some I've already recorded in there are videos on uh, various other subjects. I think YouTube will probably uh, suggest a couple and they'll post them around here somewhere for you to have a look at. Thanks for joining me. I will not be seeing you, but hopefully you will be seeing me in another video soon. Thanks for your time and bye for now.